Let's go get in the elevator. <laughs> so we weren't kidding. It's really tight. Imagine getting here, me, my wife, and two dogs, and it gets so crazy. Good. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling socially awkward. <laughs> My name is Angus Nelson, and I live in Lisbon. How did you get the dogs from the States here? Yeah, that was a bit of a chore. Me and my son ended up here uh, by ourselves because my daughter tested positive for COVID immediately on the day we were supposed to leave. So it was me, my son, 14 bags, and two big bougie dogs. I was raised in Wisconsin and uh, last lived in Nashville, Tennessee. But my mom being from New Zealand, my dad served in the Navy, they said when you get to you know, college, get done, get out of school, grab a backpack and go. And my wife and I had done a lot of traveling. We said, well, what if we could have our kids experience a European you know, type life? We made a choice in December, we were here in May, and we don't regret the decision at all. Uh, it's very neighborly. A lot of people here know each other. So even now when we're walking down the street, you'll like see people and they say hi and then the different cafes. As my Portuguese is getting better, it's kind of like a shiny new toy. I'm trying out a new phrase and they notice that. I, I could be embarrassed, but I also think it's cool when they start like applauding and they go, oh, muito bem. Have you made friends in Lisbon? So before we came, we joined um, a couple of Facebook groups. There's a Portugal dads and dudes group. And then last night I actually had dinner with three of them. It's like we're having cigars and you know a cocktail out on Avenida Liberdad. Yeah. And we're like, we, we feel like we're on top of the world. Like this place is beautiful and amazing and inspiring. In the States, everything is like, go, 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 go. And we don't get the opportunity to slow down. And in Lisbon, this has really helped me to be present. So when I go out and have you know lunch, it's like a two to three hour endeavor versus back in the States, it was like, oh, 45 minutes, gotta go. It seriously will not turn off. <laughs> I, did you put a chip in my TV? What is it you do? I work with male executives, helping them get rid of the uh, things that hold them back. I help men get through the understanding of their identity, how they see themselves, dealing with three major pieces. What I'm worth, uh, what I deserve, and do I have what it takes. Come and see where the sausage is made. This is the framework for my next book. The working title is called Nothing. Nothing to gain, nothing to prove, nothing to lose. We think if I get that house, if I get that girl, if I get that money, then, then I'll be happy. Why don't we be happy first? And from that comes the abundance. So everything is a product of that. Uh, that's my wife. Yeah. We were both married once before, and now this is our, our real marriage. How do you stay so happy and positive? Inputs. So like I don't watch negative stuff. I don't watch the news. I don't uh, watch uh, horror movies. I am very intentional to stay up and positive. So this is one of your hobbies? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like smoking cigars and I brought about 40 cigars with me and I've got, I think, four or five left, so I'm gonna have to go buy some more. So now I'm on the hunt to find good cigars, but what I cannot find is a really good cigar bar. Business opportunity for somebody. I'm taking you to a graveyard. It reminds you, like, all these people that are here, a lot of them died with dreams. Nobody promises you tomorrow, so create the life you wanna live today, and don't worry about someday, just do it. I don't know how to start to make a brand. This, this is the evolution of men. <laughs> Give me some uh, profound words to wrap up this video. Uh, if I were gonna wrap up this video, I would wrap it up with, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. 
and go get it. Determine what you want in life and don't hesitate, go after it.